In the bustling music scene of the 1970s, a new band was forming. A band that would soon become a beacon of innovation and creativity in the rock genre. They called themselves Dire Straits, a name that reflected the financial struggles they faced in their early days. The band's formation was a symphony of serendipity and shared musical passion. At the heart of it was a pair of brothers, Mark and David Knopfler. Mark, a gifted guitarist with an ear for storytelling, was the driving force behind the band's unique sound. David, a talented rhythm guitarist, provided the perfect counterpoint to his brother's lead. Joining the Knopfler brothers were John Ilsley and Pick Withers. Ilsley, a steady hand on the bass guitar, brought stability to the band's sound. Withers, a seasoned drummer, added a rhythmic pulse that would become a hallmark of Dire Straits music. Their early influences were a melting pot of blues, rock, and folk music. They admired the raw emotion of the blues, the energy of rock, and the storytelling of folk. This eclectic mix of influences can be heard in their music, a unique blend that set them apart from their contemporaries. In the beginning, their stage was the pubs and clubs of London. These small, intimate venues were the testing ground for their music. Night after night, they performed their original songs to audiences that gradually grew from a handful to a packed house. It was here under the dim lights and amidst the clinking glasses that the Dire Straits sound was born. Their music was different. It was fresh. It was a departure from the disco and punk that dominated the airwaves. They dared to be different. And it was this boldness that would soon capture the attention of the music industry. The stage was set for Dire Straits to make their mark on the music world. The band's unique sound was about to catch the attention of the music industry. With their distinctive blend of rock and blues, Dire Straits was not your typical band. They were storytellers, their lyrics painting vivid pictures and their music, a symphony of sounds that resonated with the audience. Their big break came with the release of Sultans of Swing. The song, a catchy blend of rock and swing, was an instant hit. It showcased Mark Knopfler's distinctive finger-picking guitar style, a sound that would become synonymous with Dire Straits. The song's success catapulted the band into the limelight, and they quickly became a household name. The band's rise to fame, however, was not just about their music. They were also known for their electrifying live performances. Dire Straits were not just musicians, they were performers. Their concerts were a feast for the senses, with the band's energy and passion for music evident in every note they played. Their relentless touring schedule helped solidify their reputation as one of the best live bands in the world. From London's pubs to sold-out stadiums worldwide, Dire Straits was a force to be reckoned with. Their music transcended borders, and their fan base grew exponentially. The band's success, however, was not without its challenges. The pressure to produce hits and the grueling tour schedule took its toll on the band members. But, through it all, they remained committed to their music and their fans. They pushed through the hardship, always striving to create music that was authentic and true to their roots. Despite the challenges, the band's journey to stardom was a testament to their talent, perseverance and passion for music. Their story is not just about the glitz and glamour of fame, but also about the hard work and dedication that goes into making music that resonates with people. From small clubs in London to sold-out stadiums worldwide, Dire Straits had become a musical sensation. They had paved their road to stardom, leaving an indelible mark on the music industry. Dire Straits was not a band to rest on their laurels. As their star rose, so did their ambition. They were not content merely to replicate the success of Sultans of Swing. They wanted more. They wanted to explore, to push boundaries, to experiment. Their journey of musical evolution led them down new and exciting paths. They began to incorporate different styles into their music, drawing inspiration from a variety of genres. Jazz, folk, country. They all found a home in Dire Straits music. And with each new influence, their sound grew richer, more complex, more unique. But it wasn't just about the styles of music they were experimenting with. They were also pushing the boundaries in terms of the instruments they used. 
Mark Knopfler's distinctive finger-picking guitar style was, of course, a staple, but they also brought in keyboards, saxophones and a variety of other instruments. They were not afraid to experiment, to play around with the conventions of rock music. This willingness to experiment, to push the boundaries, reached its peak with the release of their fifth studio album, Brothers in Arms. This album was a game-changer. It marked a departure from their earlier sound, incorporating elements of jazz and a heavier use of technology. The result was a sound that was fresh, innovative, and unlike anything else on the rock scene at the time. The album was a tremendous success, both commercially and critically. It topped the charts in multiple countries and won two Grammy Awards. It gave us hits like Money for Nothing and the hauntingly beautiful title track, Brothers in Arms. But more than that, it cemented Dire Straits' status as musical innovators. They had shown that they were not just a rock band. They were musicians, artists, explorers. They were willing to take risks, to push boundaries, to evolve. Dire Straits had proven themselves not only as a rock band but as musical innovators. The music of Dire Straits continues to resonate with audiences, long after their last note was played. The band's distinctive sound, marked by Mark Knopfler's intricate guitar work and evocative storytelling, has left an indelible imprint on the world of music. Their songs have transcended time and space, becoming anthems for generations. From the soulful melodies of Romeo and Juliet to the groundbreaking sounds of Money for Nothing, each tune holds a special place in the hearts of listeners, proving that music truly is a universal language. Dire Straits' innovative approach to blending different genres and their relentless pursuit of musical excellence have served as a beacon for countless aspiring musicians. They proved that it's possible to step outside the boundaries of traditional rock, to experiment, and to create something truly unique and timeless. Their influence can be heard in the music of bands and artists across a spectrum of genres, from rock to folk to blues. They've inspired musicians to push their creative limits, to tell their own stories through music, and to strive for authenticity in a world often obsessed with following trends. The band's commitment to their craft, their passion for music, and their dedication to delivering unforgettable live performances have set a high bar for those who've followed in their footsteps. Dire Straits may no longer be making music together, but their legacy lives on, their songs continue to inspire, and their contribution to the world of music remains undeniable. And so, as we reflect on the journey of Dire Straits, we're reminded of the power of music, its ability to move us, to connect us, and to tell stories that resonate deeply within our souls. Dire Straits may have disbanded, but their music continues to speak to us, reminding us of the beauty, the pain, the joys and the sorrows of the human experience. Dire Straits had made their mark, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire. Their story is a testament to the enduring power of music, a tribute to their talent, and a reminder of the magic that can happen when you dare to dream, to innovate, and to create. All good things must come to an end. And so it was with Dire Straits. After over a decade of creating music that touched hearts and stirred souls, the band decided to call it quits in 1995. The world of music was left in a state of surprise and sadness as the news spread. Fans across the globe felt a deep sense of loss, like a chapter of their lives had been closed. Mark Knopfler, the driving force behind the band, made the decision to disband Dire Straits in order to pursue a solo career, a move that, while initially met with disappointment and heartbreak, eventually led to a deeper appreciation of his musical genius. His solo work continues to be celebrated, with his distinctive guitar sound and storytelling lyrics remaining as powerful as ever. The other band members also embarked on their own journeys. David Knopfler established a successful solo career, while John Ilsley pursued interests in art and property development alongside his music. Pick Withers, the band's original drummer, retired from music, but his contribution to the Dire Straits sound will forever be remembered. The end of Dire Straits marked the end of an era, but it also signalled the beginning of new chapters for its members. It was a bittersweet farewell, 
a testament to the band's enduring impact that their disbandment was felt so deeply by fans and the music world alike. The band's departure from the stage was not a full stop, but rather a pause, a chance for its members to explore new horizons, while the music they created together continued to resonate with audiences old and new. Dire Straits may no longer exist as a band, but the music, the stories, the emotions they evoked, they live on, immortalized in the hearts of their fans. Though Dire Straits may have ended, their music lives on, a testament to their profound impact on the world of music.